Well, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Mehul and welcome to your very first bootstrap tutorial. Now in this tutorial or basically in this whole series of bootstrap tutorials we'll be looking at how you can develop beautiful, elegant and responsive web pages with this framework. Now to begin with, what the heck is a framework? Now bootstrap, a framework, is simply a collection of some CSS and JavaScript files and these files would help you to code beautiful web pages online because as you can guess these files come with inbuilt classes and plugins from JavaScript beautiful designs, buttons, model boxes and so on and so forth so how do you get started? Well before even starting with this bootstrap series I highly recommend you if you don't know HTML and CSS or JavaScript then you should go back to my playlist and watch all these three and then come back and I'll be happy to continue okay for those who are ready let's go now first of all go to this website getbootstrap.com and I probably think by the time you'll watch this video because it's um, December 14 right now this bootstrap 4 would have been launched already so if it is launched then don't worry because all these tutorials which I'm making are valid for bootstrap 4 as well and maybe by the time I'm creating some tutorials then when the bootstrap is launched then I would switch over to bootstrap 4 so you don't need to worry about that because currently you can see that the current version is 3.3.6 and bootstrap 4 is coming real soon so let's get started now first of all go to this website getbootstrap.com click on this download bootstrap button it'll take you to a page now here you have two options either the either the download button or the bootstrap CDN I would recommend you to use the bootstrap CDN because CDN as you should probably know is a content delivery network and bootstrap would host host all the files for you and your website now these attributes you see integrity and cross origin are basically just new in HTML5 and these would just let your browser know that this resource right here which you are loading has not been tampered because if it is then browser won't run this anyways now just copy all these files go to any text editor you like I like sublime and then just create a simple HTML5 document alright so now we have this document ready and now go ahead and paste all of these files which you brought with yourself and make sure you push these link files in the title and I would just recommend you to get rid of these as well because um, you know you can just deploy them when you are working on server but it's of no use right now because obviously I know nobody's tampering my network here you go okay so now we have our very first kind of you can say a bootstrap layout ready so if I say like div class container and it would all feel like HTML because bootstrap is an HTML framework this is my first container and if I just open this file somehow in Chrome then you see that it kinda looks strange because okay so it requires jQuery not a problem I got this so you can load the jQuery one as well right here make sure to append the HTTP because we are working on file protocol now yep so yeah so error is gone now you can see this looks kinda strange then you would type this is my first container in your regular HTML because 
if you see if I get rid of this and these ones as well then you can see that that's how it looks but obviously since bootstrap adds a bit of styles to the document you can see how this container is customized and as you can see as well it takes a bit of time to load this document because it is downloading those files from the CDN seems like a bit of problem with my network uh, yeah I guess there's a bit of problem here whoa okay so you see that this container you see a lot of styles here all of these are applied by bootstrap so we just wrote our very first program with bootstrap framework in html and we'll do a lot more in the coming tutorials so if you like this one then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then